Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay, nice and short still. Oh, this one's kind of thick. This one's really thick. Oh man, you guys, I forgot to get my hanger swirl out. Oh no. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm just gonna swirl it. Oh. And this has no color into it. It just has, well, I did put some glow in the dark to just see how it's gonna turn out. So I did put some glow in the dark. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've had just bars of soap and stuff just kind of hanging out back on the Soap and Clay Studio sign behind me. And I put this one on the sign the day that we did extras because this is his soap. It's super beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. So I put this one on the sign the day that I did his Project Soapway Challenge, right? And it's just sort of been hanging out there. And this is my office, right? And so, you know, I have like the dog run there and I have a bathroom there and there's like the rest of the house. And the point is, I'm in here a lot, you know? And so I'm constantly walking by this area. And for like three or four days, I would walk by and I'd be like, wow, what is that scent? It's really delightful. Is this a new cologne that Mr. Soap and Clay is using? Which is weird because he doesn't use this bathroom. Is it something from the kids? Is it a hair product? It was so lovely. And then I finally realized that it's this soap and it smells so freaking good. I know that I said it in his video that it smelled so good, but I want this in everything. It is the most unique blend that I've ever smelled in my life. It's completely indescribable. I am obsessed. And I don't want to use this soap because then it's going to go away. So extra, I need you to make me shampoo. I need you to make me lotion. I need you to make me all of the, the soapy things and cosmetic things using the scent blend because it is magical. It's also really pretty. And I'm not talking about extra because he's like one of the Project Soapway winners. He's, he's not. That's not who we're talking about today. It's just, you know, it's Project Soapway week and... We are talking about sudsers that won stuff and look. Anyway, I just I just wanted to say it's really good. And whenever you sell it on your thing, everybody should buy it, is what I am saying. I will tell you about the winner of today's Project Soapway Challenge in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for week 22 of year three, and Project Soapway Challenge number, I have no idea at this point, but it is a ghost swirls challenge. Now you saw my ghost swirl yesterday, and I made it using nettle to help out Soap and Clay Kidlet number two with some eczema that she's been dealing with, and as far as the bar itself goes, it works like a charm. It's a great recipe try that. As far as the prettiness of it, it's not so much, you know, but it's, it's cool in its own way. It's not, it's not like the winners of this week by any stretch of the imagination. And they all have amazing bars of soap. And the first winner for the Ghost Worlds Challenge actually not only made an amazing bar of soap for this challenge, but in winning is pulling the hat trick. So MQ Soapery, or Karen, as we also know her, is the first winner that we are showcasing for this week. And yeah, as I said, this is her third win. So first up, huge congratulations. There have been people that have been trying to get three. You succeeded first. And I continue to be blown away by your soapy skills. It's actually super wild because all of these submissions, so many soaps come in. And I'm always surprised, I think, when there's multiples when I actually get the name of the soap maker that submitted after we've selected the winners 
and I'm always surprised when it's multiples, i.e. somebody who's won it before. This is an example of somebody who understood the assignment for sure. So we're going to go to the video. We are going to talk about Karen of MQ Soapery, her awesome process with her ghost swirl. So let's get there, you know, and, and do that. I mean, thank God for the sudsers that are telling me that this is the Ghost Swirl Challenge number eight. And yes, this is the editing that we got from MQ Sopery from Karen. So I wanted to leave some of this in because I think it's really, really cute for sure. And for the most part, the rest of the video, I left all of her edits in. And what I didn't leave in was her realizing that she had done things like forgotten her, you know, hanger swirl, her hanger to do the swirl and whatnot and not being at all flustered about it. You know what I mean? And I really enjoyed listening to that because it's definitely, Karen sort of embodies this whole idea of don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff. And I love that because every time that I've had the opportunity to see any of her creations, you know, via video footage, it is that. If something starts going sideways in the middle of her pour, she does not panic. She does not freak out. She pivots. And it's absolutely delightful to see. And I understand why, because of that, she has won three Project Soapway challenges. So that is right. MQ Soapery has won three. This is her third win for Project Soapway. And the reason why this is such a cool uh, pour, first up, it's no colorants whatsoever. So all three of these, as I have talked about within the ghost swirl challenge themselves, the idea of a ghost swirl is going to be creating your swirls and your definition and your different textures and whatnot, not using different colors to do so, but using the lye concentrations and the lye solutions in order to achieve some cool swirly results. So three different lye concentrations, three different solutions, and then the color shift is going to be because of those different lye concentrations and basically how quickly they saponify as a result. Now with this, as I said, no colorant whatsoever, but she does have a surprise for us, which you know I'm sure you saw from the thumbnail because I would be shocked if I did not put the surprise as the thumbnail, but I don't know. Maybe I decided not to. But with this one again, no colorant and a surprise at the end. But you should be able to theoretically see the different colors of the batter as the swirl is, you know, being built within the mold. And you will also be able to see with all three of these, much like you did with mine, the thickness of the batter. Because the idea is the less water that you have in a, you know, in a batter, in a batch of soap, the thicker it's going to get because the faster it's getting not only to emulsion and trace, but it's starting to saponify. And so that's what we are going to be looking for while we, you know, check out our pour. So let's go do that. Okay, now on to the pour and let's see if we can tell the differences in the, you know, actual thickness of the soap batter as well as the different colors while she is doing this. And as I said, these are her edits and I'm so proud of her. Like the first video, the first win that she had, she lost the footage because that's how life works a lot of the time. And she went back and re-recorded it. So she refilmed, she made another batch of soap for all of this, huge disaster. So between that and today, she's not only, you know, got the whole filming of the thing down, but she's starting to edit, which I find to be completely delightful. Also. I don't notice any differences in colors. Do you? I, I have yet to see them. So kind of flying blind with this one, which I find to be kind of scary. Also this part here, she did this because uh, she forgot her hanger swirl. And so she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna use a spoon instead of going to find her hanger. And I thought that that was really cool too. Like I said, she just rolls with it. She fixes everything, adjusts on the fly. Everything about her is so positive and beautiful and does not sweat the small stuff. She is one of my favorite people in the Discord. Like, we joke about it all of the time that people should not be, like, Karen should not be called Karens. You know what I mean? Because all of the Karens that we have in the Sudzer community, they are delightful. They are some of the coolest people ever. She is so positive and encouraging and kind and just an amazing human 
and then she delivers all of this really epic, beautiful, well, soaps, but also cosmetics. She does wax melts for, you know, gifts. She makes her own candle vessels and also delivers, you know, soaps that are worthy of winning the Project Soapway Challenge three times. Also, the texture on that is everything. That is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to see these swirls. Okay, and on to the cut, and that looks like a gelled soap to me. I think she did see pop that. And again, the texture got even more beautiful. Look at the sculpted top. That is just so stunning. And also her edits. These are hers. And that cutter is gorgeous. That really pretty like cobalt blue. That's so lovely. But you can see the swirl there. Oh, we did get some, yep, you can see some glycerin rivers and some heat cracking. So that's very interesting as well. But you can already see based on the first little, you know, snippet that she gave us that the swirls themselves are delightful. I, I love the texture within all of it. I love that you can see the three different color variations. That is pretty. The addition of some glycerin rivers within all of that because of the sea pop and gel is even more gorgeous. That's 10 out of 10. And so, like I said, there is a surprise and, and that surprise is going to be coming up. But for now, let's just admire what a natural, you know, in air quotes, because the surprise is not natural, but what something with no colorant can do in a soap with a ghost swirls, just by playing with your lie concentrations. It's very interesting. And I really am obsessed with that cutter. It's so pretty I'm feeling it. But yes, so Karen, I, I don't even know how she does this and how she has time to do anything for her business, for MQ Sopery. I don't know how she has time to enter the challenges. I don't know how she has time to be so supportive and encouraging of all of the sudsers. That's so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, come on. Because she has like five kids. She just sent her youngest child off to uh, her senior prom. She posted pictures in the Discord and like she looks stunning. Her her senior child, her, her her high school senior child looks absolutely stunning in her prom dress and all the things. Like she's busy. Graduation is coming up, all the things going on and she still has time to do all of this. It's wild. She has time to be an amazing human and, you know, being an amazing mom. So, I'm completely blown away by everything that she is. She is easily one of my favorite people on the planet. And her swirls are absolutely gorgeous. Like, just that alone is perfect. Look at that. All three colors represented. And the whole, yep, look, nice close up. The texture, you can see all of the different colors. The glycerin rivers are stunning. This is absolutely gorgeous. She did that with a spoon handle. That is incredible. Spoon handle. That's, that's what she did. She used a spoon handle to create that. Some of it looks like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know things. Maybe like a flower, something. I don't know. They're, they're beautiful. There's some gorgeous uh, soap Rorschach going on and all of that for sure. But again, the, the big secret and the big extra fun of all of this is that they freaking glow in the dark. So what a cool, fun thing to also include in this, right? Like, it's beautiful in and of itself, but then you have that sitting in your shower and you go in in the middle of the night and, oh, it's glowing, which I think is super fun. So, congratulations, Karen. You did such a great job. Everybody go follow Karen of MQ Soapery. She's over there on Instagram. She's in our Discord. She's in our hearts, spreading all the positivity. Thank you for existing, and congrats on the win. Come on. It glowed in the dark. You know? Like... The swirl was in and of itself already cool and like you obviously, like I said, you understood the assignment and you did everything that you were meant to do for the ghost world challenge, three different line solutions, one color, etc. and so forth. The bar in and of itself without the glow in the dark, very pretty, definitely can see all the different layers and all the different concentrations within, but then it glows. How fun is that? I really like that. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a sucker for glow in the dark, but it's just something is changing, right? It's a soap that you just have sitting and then you see it at night. Yeah, I'm still holding it. And then you see it at night and it's glowy. Amazing. 
Well done, Karen. I'm so proud of you. I'm continually impressed by your soapy journey. Like you are so good at what you do and you're so humble about it. So quiet about it. You're just sitting over there in your corner of the soapy world, kicking ass, taking names, and I love to see it. So thank you for sharing this process with us. Thank you for being so inventive and creative. Thank you for being a sudzer. Thank you for being you. Thank you. And all the sudzers that are here watching, thank you for doing what I know you're going to do. And you are going to go support Karen, MQ Sopri on Instagram. I'll, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on all the other socials. But if we have updates from when and if we're going to be launching websites and all of that, that of course will be here for sure. So of course we're going to celebrate Karen in every possible way we know how. So go do the things. Thank you. Again, thank you, Karen. Thank you to all of the submissions for the Project Soapway Challenge. You all rocked this. There were so many cool, unique ideas. But I guess, again, I am a sucker for glow in the dark. So that was a clear winner for me. Anyway, I'm out of here. I actually do have to go put this down because I'm just... The cuts on this are going to be ridiculous because all I'm doing is just continuing to put this in front of my face, you know? So I'm going to go. But thank you for joining me today for... A project soapway challenge i really appreciate you guys as i said i will be back tomorrow for winner number two of the ghost swirls project soapway challenge and you know i'll see you then for another round of soapy fun bye you know what maybe i'm a child but the whole glow in the dark thing this totally just sends me Every time I see a soap that glows in the dark, it's going to win. Just so you know, just as an FYI, the jurors, they have tried to get me away from that, the rest of the jury, but it's not going to happen. Glow in the dark will win every time.